Hi everyone, welcome back. In previous couple of lectures, we have implemented list employee feature. In this lecture, we are going to add header and footer to the React application. Well, you can see the screenshot over here. We are going to add header and footer like this. Okay. So in a header section, we are going to display the application name, and in a footer section, we are going to display the copyright you know statement. All right. So here are the development steps. We will create a header component as a functional component and then we'll import and use header component in app component. Next, we'll create a putter component as a functional component. And next, we'll import and use this putter functional component in a app component. Well, the first step is create a header functional component. So let's go to our project and go to components folder. Within that, let's create a new file. Let's call it as header component dot jsx. Perfect. And within a header component.jsx file, let's create a header component as a functional component. So here just type the React code snippet React arrow function component export and hit enter. And here you can see header component is created. Next, let us design the header component. Well, here go to return statement and just remove this header component string. And here let us have header html element and within that let's have a navbar and let's add the bootstrap css classes well if you go to browser and just search for bootstrap 5 navbar click on first link and just search for the dark navbar so here we have a dark navbar so let me copy these bootstrap CSS classes. So these are the standard bootstrap CSS classes that we can use to design or style the navbar. So let's me copy them and go to header component and just paste them over here. Okay, perfect. Next within a header, we need to also display the brand name or the application name, right? So let's go back to browser. In order to display the brand name like this in a header, we have to use navbar brand css class so here let me copy this anchor tag and let me go back to header component and within this navbar just paste it and here let us view the application name or the brand name as employee management system and here we can give the url something like https www javagets.net you can give any url that you want now we have written code to design a simple header component next let us take a look into next step next step is import and use header component in a app component so let us go back to our code and next go to app.jsx file and here let us import header component so just above this list employee comport component just import header component and make sure that header component is imported at the top perfect next save this file and let's go to browser and go to our react application and look at here the header is successfully added to the react application and employee management system project name is also displayed and you can see the console there is an error did you mean class name well if you go to header component so here we have to use the class name attribute like this okay next save this file and let's go back to browser and just refresh this and you can see there are no errors okay now we have added header next let us take a look into next step next step is create a portal component as a functional component and import and use this portal component in an app component let us go ahead and let's create a portal component as a functional component so let's go to our project in vs code and go to components folder right click new file let us give file name as footer component.jsx. Perfect. Within this file, let's create a functional component named footer component. So in order to create the functional component, let's use a react code snippet command. So react arrow function component export. Next, let us design the footer component. So go to return statement and here let us remove this footer component. And within this div, 
let us use footer html element next let's create one custom css class named footer and let us write the css code for this footer custom css class so go to app.css file and here let me write the code footer is the css class name it has a position of set bottom 0 width 100% height 50, 50 pixel background color dark text align center color white so this is how we basically write the custom css class so dot followed by the class name and within a curly braces we define the css properties like this okay next let us use this class name in a footer component by using class name property like this okay next within a footer let's use span element to define the footer copyright statement so here all rights result 2023 by java x something like that so you can write any copyright statement as per your requirement next let us take a look into next step next step is import and use footer component in an app component so let us go back to our project and let us import and use this footer component in a app component so after this list templar component let us use and import footer component like this and make sure that footer component is imported at the top next let us save this file and let us go to browser and look at here the footer all rights result 2023 by java gates okay now the header and footer looks good for our react application all right great i will see you in the next lecture